Hello everyone, welcome to From the Star Wars Home Video Library. I'm your host, Nathan P. Butler. We pick up this time with an episode that is a supplement to number 69, which is the episode in which we covered all of the original April 2016 releases of The Force Awakens on home video in the United States. At the time, we saw that there was sort of a regular edition with this type of cardboard slipcover, but a black Blu-ray case underneath for Blu-ray, DVD, and digital HD. That was essentially the standard. This is the one you could get among other places through Disney Store and get those lithographs with it. We also saw that Walmart had a variant, the BB-8 cover, but underneath the same thing again. Target had their own release in that weird flimsy cardboard packaging, and then Best Buy had a steelbook, at least in the United States. We had thought and hoped that was it, but no. Later on in the year, we got the 3D Collector's Edition that added some bonus features, a Blu-ray 3D disc, and a commentary to the regular disc, and that had a variant also from Walmart that had some lithographs, or a lithograph with it. So, so far, Walmart's got a couple of variants off of the regular releases, and we figured again, that's it, at least in 2016. Surely that's all the different variants we're going to get in the U.S. of The Force Awakens. But no. No, it turned out that Walmart had something else up its sleeve. As we enter the Christmas season in the United States, we found another variant from Walmart. And that's what this episode is meant to cover relatively quickly here. Actually, two versions of a variant from Walmart released even later in the year than the 3D Collector's Edition. And that's a special Christmas packaging variant. That is this, at least on Blu-ray and DVD with the digital HD code inside it. It's essentially the regular packaging image here, but then, of course, it's got that golden packaging. It's got a little ribbon-looking thing here, a little bow-looking thing here. It is embossed just a little bit. The sides have gone gold as well. And then the back is the same back as on the regular cardboard slipcover of any of the previous ones. But then you look underneath, and sure enough, it's the exact same thing again, as the regular release and the Walmart special release, at least in terms of what's inside, packaging-wise, as we got back in April. Although, this one, unlike the regular Walmart variant with the BB-8 cover, doesn't have one of those little Star Wars Connections coins on the inside, or discs on the inside. Instead, on the inside, what do we get? Digital code, right, just on a little sheet copy of the film on Blu-ray. This is the regular version of it, the original disc being reissued, so no commentary. The bonus features on a Blu-ray disc, again, original version, none of those extra bonus features that we got on the 3D Collector's Edition, and then another reissued copy of the DVD disc. So essentially the exact same thing as the base version of all of those original releases way back in April of 2016, just given new gold-rimmed holiday packaging. But, of course, remember, if you were on a budget or you didn't have a Blu-ray player back in April of 2016, you could also have bought the film just on DVD. Regular DVD case, no slip case, says DVD up at the top, standard information there on the back, just that digital code and the DVD disc on the inside. And we looked at that back in episode number 69. Well, not to leave out those who just have a DVD player, Walmart also issued a special holiday version of the DVD only version. So this one says DVD up at the top, whereas the other one up at the top says Blu-ray, has the Blu-ray symbol, plus DVD, plus digital HD. Here it's just DVD. Larger size, regular DVD case size, gold, similar edges, standard back, and so on. Pull out the slip cover, and yes, it's the exact same thing as that previous release. What's interesting to me about this though is that the regular DVD release never had any kind of cardboard slipcover in any of its forms until this came around. So in essence, we're getting something a little different here. Everything's the same on the inside, but there's a slipcover on the DVD version for the very first time, for those who actually care about that sort of thing. For what it's worth, you put the price of these two together, I just bought them in the same Walmart purchase, you're running about $42 or so once sales taxes added in. So, not particularly expensive, but keep in mind, if you do see these in stores and want to pick them up for somebody for Christmas or pick them up for your collection, they are the equivalent of the April 2016 release, 
Not the winter 2016 release, which has different dates depending on what part of the world you're in. It does not have the commentary, the Blu-ray 3D disc, or those extra bonus features. If you want that, you're going to have to get that 3D collector's edition for whoever it is you're buying for. But once again, yet another variant in 2016 of The Force Awakens in the U.S. And that's just in the U.S. We've got some U.K. stuff to talk about in the near future as a supplement to that episode of the show. For now, though, we'll wrap up this episode. Thank you for watching, and may the Force be with the home video viewers. And Merry Christmas, The Force Awakens fans!